Queen Elizabeth II slapped a Viscount in a shock royal row, Elton John has revealed. Her Majesty was involved in a playful encounter with Viscount Linley that was witnessed by the UK hitmaker. The iconic singer is set to release the Elton John official autobiography later this month. Within the book, he recalls just how funny the Queen could be. He said, I know the Queen's public image isn't exactly one of wild frivolity, but I think that's more to do with the nature of her job, she can't exactly sit there cracking jokes during the state opening of Parliament. But in private, she could be hilarious. At another party, I saw her approach Viscount Linley and ask him to look in on his sister, who'd been taken ill and had retired to her room. He said, I know the Queen's public image isn't exactly one of wild frivolity, but I think that's more to do with the nature of her job, she can't exactly sit there cracking jokes during the state opening of Parliament. But in private, she could be hilarious. At another party, I saw her approach Viscount Linley and ask him to look in on his sister, who'd been taken ill and had retired to her room. He added, that seemed to do the trick. As he left, she saw me staring at her, gave me a wink and walked off. It comes as he revealed the heartbreaking reason Elton fell out with friend Princess Diana. Elton was a well-known friend of Diana's and remains close with her sons Prince William and Prince Harry. He was so influential in her life that Elton performed at her funeral. The songwriter released a reworked version of his hit Candle in the Wind, which would go on to become the biggest selling single of all time, raising millions for charity. But in a heartbreaking confession, Elton spoke about what really happened when they fell out. He believes the root cause was a book Gianni Versace wrote called Rock and Royalty. The book was a collection of portraits from renowned photographers proceeds would be donated to the AIDS Foundation. Diana was expected to write the foreword. Elton wrote, then she got cold feet. I think Buckingham Palace didn't like the idea of a member of the royal family having anything to do with a book that featured shots of naked guys with towels draped around them. So, at the last moment, Diana withdrew her foreword. She said she had no idea of the book's contents, which just wasn't true. He added, I was angry with her, but I was also worried. She seemed to be losing touch with all sorts of really close friends, who would be honest with her, and surrounding herself instead with people who told her what she wanted to hear. I knew from personal experience that it wasn't a healthy situation.